Yeah. All right. Yeah. About a month into the sure. 2019 hurricane season, and although there's not a storm threatening our shores right now, not much happening in the tropics, we want to make sure that you are ready. News for Jack's meteorologist Mark Collins is joining us now live from the Turner Ace Hardware in Marsh Landing to explain what you need to know specifically to prepare your gutters. Mark, good morning. That's right. Hey, good morning, Jen. Well, this is a perfect time when things are quiet, right? To start preparing, getting ready for the hurricane season. And we think of, you know, getting your house ready, the boards, getting those shutters up. Well, there's some other steps that you need to take, and that is keeping water away from your house. And some of these tips can last you year round, even during flash flood events and heavy thunderstorms. But go ahead and go around your house now. Check out your gutters. Make sure they're cleared out. Downspouts. You don't want all the, the uh, pine needles and stuff getting stuck in here and more importantly the fasteners on your gutters you want to make sure that those machine screws are tightened because the last thing you want are these things blowing off and if the storms do don't get too strong sometimes you know you can actually keep these things intact and they will work properly so step number one get the water away from the house because when water settles around the foundation you can often get some problems with your slab and mold mold can grow very quickly so get the water away from from the house with these gutter systems and also prevent it from coming coming in how many of you remember these from Matthew and Irma I don't know but my back is still sore from filling up all these sandbags time consuming back breaking and then what do you do with all the sand once the storm passes well, there's some new products out there. This is called Quick Dam. This is pretty amazing. It's a small little package like this, and it's hydro activated. So as soon as water touches it, there's some chemicals in here. They expand into uh, these larger, uh, reserv uh, larger sand bags, and it's incredible. I kind of want to see this in action, but I'm not going to go ahead and open this. But this is very convenient to keep in your garage because it doesn't take up a lot of space. And we've used these at some of the stations I've worked at. These are hydro barrier bags. So what you do is you just hook up a hose to it. As they fill with water, they will actually keep water out of your home. So I don't know about you, but this, these concepts are, are much easier than actually filling up the sandbags, right? So one step that I said is to keep the water away from your home by making sure that your downspouts and your gutters are all clear and the water can flow away. Another step is to prevent the water from actually coming in. Now coming up at 930, I'm going to talk about an interesting siphon technique where you can use a garden hose to pump water out of your yard that doesn't require any electricity, any manual pumping. It all works on gravity. And I know Richard will be interested in that because here's a little drill pump and I'm sure he knows what this is, but it, it uh, actually involves using a, this pump that you can hook up to your hand drill. So we'll, we'll see you coming up here at 930. But for now, Richard, I'm going to send it back to you because it looks like rain is on the way today. But hopefully we won't have to use one of these hydro jams to stop it from coming in our house.